if you're getting hit with the message. A connection error occurred. Unable to start in online mode while launching Elden Ring Nitrain. Don't worry, you're not alone, and yes, we're going to fix it. In this video, I'll walk you through every working solution step by step, whether it's a server-side problem, a network setting, or a firewall block on your PC. So let's jump straight into the fix. Chapter 1. Check the server status first. Before tweaking any settings on your PC, the first thing you need to do is check if from software servers are up. Visit the official Elden Ring server status page at https colon slash slash en dot bandinamcoent.eu slash elden dash ring slash elden dash ring. If there's maintenance going on, or server issues reported in your region, there's nothing you can do but wait. You can also follow Bandai Namco's official Twitter account for live updates. Chapter 2, Restart Steam as Admin. If servers are fine, the next fix is simple but powerful. Close Steam completely. Open your task manager and make sure no Steam process is running. Now, right-click the Steam icon and select Run as Administrator. Launch Elden Ring again from your Steam library. This allows Steam to launch with full network permissions, especially if you're behind a firewall or using system-level security tools. Chapter 3. Disable IPv6, The Secret Fix A surprising number of players have reported that Elden Ring doesn't play nice with IPv6. Here's how to disable it. Go to Control Panel. Then select View by Large Icons. Then select Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings on the left. Right-click your main internet connection and choose Properties. In the list, find Internet Protocol Version 6, TCP slash IPv6. Uncheck that box and click OK. Restart your computer. This forces your PC to only use IPv4, which works more reliably with many game servers, especially from software titles. Chapter 4, Allow the Game Through Windows Firewall. Next, let's make sure your firewall isn't blocking Elden Ring. Open Windows Security. Go to Firewall and Network Protection. Click Allow an app through Firewall. Scroll until you see Elden Ring.exe. If you can't find it then click on Change Settings. Then click on Allow another app. Then click on Browse and find the game in the Game folder. Then select the game and click on Open after that click to add. Now make sure both private and public boxes are checked. Chapter 5. Open your game ports, advanced users. For those of you on strict NAT connections, port forwarding may be required. Only if you have this routers at your home TP-Link, D-Link, Netgear, Tenda, ZTE, Huawei. Open your router settings, usually at 192.168.1.1, and forward these ports. UDP. 27015 to 27030 TCP 27036 to 27037 Also include UDP 27000 to 27100 Be sure to save your router settings and reboot both the router and your PC after changes Chapter 6 Verify game files Corrupted or missing files can also block online features to verify your game files. Open Steam. Right-click Elden Ring, select Properties. Go to Installed Files. Click Verify Integrity of Game Files. This process will scan and automatically repair your installation. Chapter 7, Flush Your DNS Cache. Sometimes your DNS gets messy and blocks server connections. To clear it, Type CMD on search bar, right-click and choose Run as Administrator. Type this command and hit Enter. You'll get a confirmation that your DNS cache was successfully cleared. Now restart Elden Ring and test online mode again. Chapter 8, Still Not Working? Try this last. If you're still stuck after all these steps, here are two final things to try. Switch from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. Wi-Fi instability can trigger disconnections on from software servers. Try a VPN temporarily. Sometimes, using a secure VPN can confirm if that's the issue. 
be sure to turn the VPN off afterward to avoid latency and actual gameplay. That's it. One of these fixes should get you back online and ready to explore the Elden Ring Night Train with full multiplayer enabled. If this helped, hit the like button to support the channel, and subscribe for more deep dive fixes, settings guides, and performance boosts for Elden Ring and more. Drop a comment if you found a different fix that worked for you, we always read and respond. Thanks for watching. See you in the lands between. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement.